The Venturi effect is the reduction in fluid pressure that results when a fluid flows through a constricted section of pipe. The Venturi effect is named after Giovanni Battista Venturi, an Italian physicist. Background In fluid dynamics, a fluid's velocity must increase as it passes through a constriction in accord with the principle of continuity, while its static pressure must decrease in accord with the principle of conservation of mechanical energy. Thus any gain in kinetic energy a fluid may accrue due to its increased velocity through a constriction is balanced by a drop in pressure. By measuring the change in pressure, the flow rate can be determined, as in various flow measurement devices such as venturi meters, venturi nozzles and orifice plates. Referring to the diagram to the right, using Bernoulli's equation in the special case of incompressible flows, the theoretical pressure drop at the constriction is given by, where is the density of the fluid, is the fluid velocity where the pipe is wider, is the fluid velocity where the pipe is narrower. Choked flow The limiting case of the Venturi effect is when a fluid reaches the state of choked flow, where the fluid velocity approaches the local speed of sound. In choked flow the mass flow rate will not increase with a further decrease in the downstream pressure environment. However, mass flow rate for a compressible fluid can increase with increased upstream pressure, which will increase the density of the fluid through the constriction. This is the principle of operation of a de Laval nozzle. Increasing source temperature will also increase the local sonic velocity, thus allowing for increased mass flow rate but only if the nozzle area is also increased to compensate for the resulting decrease in density. Experimental apparatus Venturi tubes The simplest apparatus, as shown in the photograph and diagram, is a tubular setup known as a venturi tube or simply a venturi. Fluid flows through a length of pipe of varying diameter. To avoid undue drag, a venturi tube typically has an entry cone of 30 degrees and an exit cone of 5 degrees. Venturi tubes are available in various sizes from 100 mm to 813 mm with flow coefficient value of 0.984 for all diameter ratios. They are widely used due to low permanent pressure loss. They are more accurate over wide flow ranges than orifice plates or flow nozzles. However it is not used where the Reynolds number is less than 150,000. Venturi tubes are used in processes where permanent pressure loss is not tolerable and where maximum accuracy is needed in case of high viscous liquids. Orifice plate Venturi tubes are more expensive to construct than a simple orifice plate which uses the same principle as a tubular scheme. But the orifice plate causes significantly more permanent energy loss. Instrumentation and measurement Venturis are used in industrial applications and in scientific laboratories for measuring the flow rate of liquids. Flow rate A Venturi can be used to measure the volumetric flow rate. Since then a venturi can also be used to mix a liquid with a gas. If a pump forces the liquid through a tube connected to a system consisting of a venturi to increase the liquid speed, a short piece of tube with a small hole in it, and last a venturi that decreases speed, the gas will be sucked in through the small hole because of changes in pressure. At the end of the system, a mixture of liquid and gas will appear. See aspirator and pressure head for discussion of this type of siphon. Differential pressure as fluid flows through a venturi, the expansion and compression of the fluids cause the pressure inside the venturi to change. This principle can be used in metrology for gauges calibrated for differential pressures. This type of pressure measurement may be more convenient, for example, to measure fuel or combustion pressures in jets or rocket engines. The first large-scale venturi meters to measure liquid flows were developed by Clemens Herschel who used them to measure small and large flows of water and wastewater beginning at the end of the 19th century. Examples The venturi effect may be observed or used in the following Cargo educators on oil product and chemical ship tankers Inspirators that mix air and flammable gas in grills, gas stoves, bunsen burners and airbrushes. 
water aspirate is that produce a partial vacuum using the kinetic energy from the force at water pressure. Steam siphons using the kinetic energy from the steam pressure to create a partial vacuum. Atomizes that disperse perfume or spray paint. Carburet is that use the effect to suck gasoline into an engine's intake air stream. Wine aerators, used to infuse air into wine as it is poured into a glass. The capillaries of the human circulatory system, where it indicates aortic regurgitation. Aortic insufficiency is a chronic heart condition that occurs when the aortic valve's initial large stroke volume is released and the venturi effect draws the walls together, which obstructs blood flow, which leads to a pulse as bisphurians. Protein skimmers in automated pool cleaners that use pressure side water flow to collect sediment and debris. The barrel of the modern-day clarinet, which uses a reverse taper to speed the air down the tube, enabling better tone, response and intonation. Compressed air operated industrial vacuum cleaners. Venturi scrubbers used to clean flue gas emissions. Injectors used to add chlorine gas to water treatment chlorination systems. Steam injectors use the Venturi effect and the latent heat of evaporation to deliver feed water to a steam locomotive boiler. Sand blasters used to draw fine sand in and mix it with air. Emptying bilge water from a moving boat through a small waste gate in the hull. The air pressure inside the moving boat is greater than the water. Sliding by beneath. A scuba diving regulator to assist the flow of air once it starts flowing. In recoilless rifles to decrease the recoil of firing. Ventilators. The diffuser on an automobile. Large cities where wind is forced between buildings. The gap between the twin towers of the original World Trade Center was an extreme example of the phenomenon, which made the ground level plaza notoriously windswept. In fact, some gusts were so high that pedestrian travel had to be aided by ropes in windy mountain passes, resulting in erroneous pressure altimeter readings. The lead pipe of a trombone, affecting the timber. Foam proportioners used to induct fire-fighting foam concentrate into fire protection systems. The Bernoulli principle and its corollary, the Venturi effect, are essential to aerodynamic as well as hydrodynamic design concepts. Airfoil and hydrofoil designs to lift and steer air and water vessels are derived from applications of the Bernoulli principle and the Venturi effect as are the instruments that measure rate of movement through the air or water, stability indication and control mechanisms such as gyroscopic altitude indicators and fuel metering devices, such as carburetors, function as a result of gas or fluid pressure differentials that create suction as demonstrated and measurable by gas, fluid pressure and velocity, equations derived from the Bernoulli principle and the Venturi effect. A simple way to demonstrate the Venturi effect is to squeeze and release a flexible hose in which fluid is flowing. The partial vacuum produced in the constriction is sufficient to keep the hose collapsed. Venturi tubes are also used to measure the speed of a fluid by measuring pressure changes at different segments of the device. Placing a liquid in a U-shaped tube and connecting the ends of the tubes to both ends of a Venturi is all that is needed. When the fluid flows though the venturi the pressure in the two ends of the tube will differ, forcing the liquid to the low pressure side. The amount of that move can be calibrated to the speed of the fluid flow.